Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a highly requested video. A lot of you saw me when I was talking about the Shawnee Block Me video and y'all all talked about my skin and how amazing it looks and I swear to God, like I almost was in tears because <laughs> I've never heard that before um, in years um, since I've been a teenager. I've always suffered from really, really bad acne and really bad hyperpigmentation. So just to hear somebody call my skin beautiful, it's just, y'all don't even know like what it does to my heart and everything, like, wow. Like I've never thought I would reach this point of my skin looking like this, like, Whew, it, it's just like so crazy because I just I honestly almost accepted the fact that I will always forever have acne on my face and I would never be one of those girls that's like makeup free like picture like no that was I always felt like that was not gonna be me and I'm just always gonna have to like wear makeup I would you know feel insecure about when men would talk about women with makeup and how they look underneath and like I just didn't feel my best I would I would literally when I would date guys like I would sleep with my makeup on like I was so scared to take my makeup off because I didn't want him looking like you need to drink water because oh my god I could not stand when people say well just drink some water and it'll go away just wash your face um, duh, like, can y'all please stop telling us to wash our face and drink some water? Because trust me, I probably drink more water than you and I get breakouts, okay? That's just genetics for you, okay? Some of this is genetic, some of this is diet, some of this is other combinations and hormonal things. Like, I had really bad hormonal breakout. Like, I swear to God, like, when my period was about to come, like, I would do, 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 do. Hello, 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 do, 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 F you, F you. <laughs> Like, that's how my skin would look. And the worst part is, it's not even the bumps. It's the after part of the bump. It's like some people get bumps and they go away. My bumps scar always. Don't matter if I picked them. I never picked my bumps. No, I'm lying. I really didn't really like to pick my bumps. I don't really like to, like, pop pimples unless it was, like, really bad. And I'm like, oh, get it off my face first like that was me sorry I'm not trying to be dramatic but like that was me like I'm like oh like or, or if I'm going somewhere like I'm like oh my god it's like right here this pimples like look like I'm like growing like a unicorn horn like <laughs> I need a pop it so that is me only time like I would pick them but I swear people be like oh stop picking your bumps and you won't get dark spots dark 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 spots sorry dark spots and I'm like, girl, I don't pick them. I treat them. I do everything that I possibly can to make my skin look good. And it, 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 I still, I still scar. So some people don't pick their scars. Some people eat their veggies. I eat nothing. I used to be vegan. Okay. When I was vegan, I thought my skin was more glowy and it was more glowy, but <laughs> baby, it didn't stop the breakouts. And no, it wasn't because I went through a purge. I was literally vegan for a whole year okay and I still broke out like I still I have glowy skin but I still broke out especially around my period of time oh that that girl came with a vengeance okay so I got on birth control for a little bit which kind of helped out but I don't like I don't advocate for birth control because oh it just does things to your body that you just don't want to do and I just wasn't for it so getting straight to the point I'm sorry guys for all this rambling I want to get straight to the point I don't want to talk too much but let me just show y'all the one two three four five products that I use on a weekly basis and that has saved my life now also I want to introduce the first one that I started on which is the Kojic Sand Acid so it's a Kojic Acid. I got it from Amazon, and it looks like this. It's like this orange bar or whatever. It looks like that, and I use that. I used to use it almost every day um, at one point, and my breakouts were still happening. Like, it decreased the breakouts, but the breakouts were still happening. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was, eh. It's like, once this fade a little bit, the next come in, the next wave come in, and I'm like, all right, it's working. It decreases, you know, the bumps, but I'm still getting the bumps, especially in this area. And I'm going to show you guys some pictures, like just no cap. I'm about to show y'all some pictures right now.
Okay, and I even made a video when I first moved here and I, I, I wanted to post this video so bad with me and my kid, but my skin was so freaking horrible. Like it was so horrible. Like I may insert a clip, I may not insert a clip of that, but I'm gonna show y'all how my skin look with that. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Eat your food first. Eat your food, bacon. Yeah, eat your food first and then you can get it. Um. Mm -hmm. So I used the Kojic acid soap, but then I also use, oh baby, when I tell you this is like a miracle on the bottle. Okay, this is my Shea Moisture um, African Black Soap Clarifying Mud Mask. When I you this is my husband and I love you so much I love this thing <laughs> like I don't like using African black soap because it's so harsh it's just, it's just so harsh on the skin so I like to use this one by Shea Moisture and it looks like this this is like I don't know how many jars that, that I done went through with this but as you can tell it is very used I use this like when especially when I feel like I'm about to break out or like 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 it just look like an underlying bump, like a bump that's like want to come to the head. I, I slather it all on my face, you know. I slather it all over my face, girl. And I tell you, and and then I wash it off. And then sometimes if I really actually got a bump, I'll just put a little bit of that mask on my face and go to sleep. And like let it dry up and then go to sleep. And I leave it on my face overnight. And I swear to you, that bump will be gone by like the next day or two i swear this stuff right here and it has no parabens it's vegan friendly you know for those who don't want to like you know they want vegan products it has tea tree oil it has tamarind extract and african black soap so that clarifies oily blemish prone skin because when i tell you i got the oiliest skin ever i had used to have the worst oily skin like i swear i would wake up and people would literally be like, oh, why are you sweating? Like, oh, girl, my skin went swimming in oil. That's what it did. That's what, don't judge me. I didn't want to wake up like this. So I would say this is like probably, if you don't get nothing else, baby, get this. Like, get, if you got cystic acne breakout, like, it, could, it, it may burn a little bit. And I'm not going to lie, like, when I don't, <laughs> I, I use these together, baby. When I tell you my skin was so sensitive, I was like, oh, no, ma'am. No, 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 no. So, I had to use a different soap. I was using, like, a CeraVe soap along with it with a silic, silic, salicylic acid in it. Because I could not use both of these at the same day because <laughs> it's a little sensitive. My skin is sensitive, okay? So, I would definitely get this. You can get this at Target, Walmart, whatever. Like, I'm just, let me see. Like, hold on. Yes. I would definitely get this. This is like a miracle. And I just bought this from Target and I just dip it in there so it won't get underneath my nails and stuff like that. So that really helps out. And I'll leave it on for like a good 30 minutes. Like I'll go watch a Netflix movie. It's say five minutes or whatever, but I leave it on longer than that. I leave it on like 10 minutes if I'm rushing, 30 minutes if I'm just chilling. So let me tell you something that you have seen in every store, every Whole Food store, every Target, every whatever. You've seen this soap before. You've had to have seen this soap before. It's accessible everywhere. <laughs> this is my baby. Huh. Okay. Dr. Broner's Pure Castle Peppermint Soap. When I tell you, I got like a little personal bottle for my face and then I have the big bottle for my whole body because who your girl be looking like? Whoa, your girl be looking good, okay? Man, she be smelling fresh. Okay, let me stop, let me stop. Okay, so I would like to say this is like a miracle worker. Like I swear to you, when I started using this, like people say it dries your skin out, but one thing I want to tell y'all is that it may dry your skin out and it's good that it's drying your skin out because that means it's drying out those pimples. But you don't want to have skin where it's like, oh girl, you are ashy. Mm, hold on. Ooh. <laughs> okay, all right. So anyway, so this stuff right here, I always seen this and I always wanted to try it, but I'm like, nah, like you can wash clothes, your floor with this. I don't want to put this on my face. But when I started using this, in combination with, um, I'm going to show you the soap that I use. It is a, basically a dead sea salt, um, soap. So I'm going to put in a clip right now. And 
and that is what I use. I get that from either Whole Foods or from um, Trader Joe's. Whole Foods or Trader Joe's. Um, and then I use this. So these are the main two that I use every single day. I use my peppermint, pure peppermint soap every single day. And I use that mask every, that uh, soap, that mud mask soap every single day. Because the mud mask soap contains so many benefits for your skin. It has magnesium in it. So you know when you take an Epsom salt bath? Like I wasn't able to take a bath because I just always take a shower. But when you use that soap, it has the same effect of taking like Epsom salt you know, to your body and we lack magnesium. That's one of the things that we all lack is magnesium. And so I don't know what it's been doing for my skin. I know it's been doing, it. girl been looking good, okay? But I'm just saying like the benefits of it has been really clearing my skin. Mind you guys, I've been having acne since I was 16. Like I'm 28 years old. <laughs> yeah, I disclosed my age, but yeah, like I'm 28 years old. That's like almost, I don't even know. That's probably almost like 20 years at this point. Almost over 20 years. Like, I don't know. Definitely over like 10 years for sure. I've been dealing with acne and I had no way to cure it. And I tried everything. I tried everything. I went to Ulta. I tried everything. Like nothing would work. And it's just so tiring because it was so disappointing because and it was so expensive and out of my budget. And these things, y'all, y'all can find this at Walmart. Like y'all can find this like at your neighborhood store and like you know, you could find the, the, the other soap at, um, I think it's like $5, you know, at, at, uh, Whole Foods or, um, Trader Joe's. And so I use this every single day. I use, I use this first and then I use the mat. I use this first at night if I'm wearing makeup so it can be stronger and like strip the makeup off. And then I use the other soap at night. So now at night, I use the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion, normal to dry skin. I use this every night on my skin and then i use my cerave facial moisturizing lotion um it has the spf of 30 which is really good because you want to go 30 and up so either 30 to 50 and i use those two i use this one in the morning and i kind of mix these two together just because this is so thick and I just kind of like want that extra moisture because if your skin is extra lotiony and moisturized so I'm telling you like even with oily skin like it, I don't know what these two products are but like they really like create like a protective barrier and my skin don't just be getting oily like that so those are the things that I use for my skin this kojic acid I don't really use that as much so I don't really use it as much I use it from time to time um when I really feel like I need like I want to speed up the process of the dark marks but I'm gonna show y'all my skin like but compared to the photos that I showed y'all like yeah this is this is my skin this is everything the scarring that's left especially on this side baby when I tell you this side it's like disrespectful but I never thought my skin could get to this point. Like I, this is like amazing. And I did get a microdermabrasion done. I got my second one done and I start to see results with that like a week or two after I get it done. So I'm gonna definitely show y'all that video of me getting my microdermabrasion done and how that process is. And I don't get it done every month cause your girl ain't got money like that. Like what, that's expensive. So I get it every two months. I got this one every far apart, part, every, it was like six weeks apart about six weeks apart with this one but my next one that I'm gonna get is probably gonna be like a month so it's gonna I'm gonna wait eight weeks because I feel like I can afford to do it every two months instead of every month because I got a kid and I got other things to do and I just you know and if you're somebody who needs to save up like save up for your microdermabrasion it's okay to have an esthetician find your local neighbor esthetician this lady only charged me I think like only $99, like get a Groupon, like look for deals. Like I'm telling you, like they really do make a difference. Now they're going to tell you, you need to come in here every two weeks to a month. Baby, uh, first of all, I know you wish I came in here and gave you my money every two weeks to a month. I know you got to make your money, but I got to save my money. So therefore I can't just be coming in here like that. So therefore I'll see you every eight weeks or so or whenever. But it's very important to probably try to get an esthetician because I did see a more faster result by getting a microdermabrasion. Like, it really, really helped out my skin. And let me tell y'all, like, let me tell y'all, y'all can clear up y'all skin all day. 
right? You can clear up your skin all day. You can cover it up all day or whatever. But it, it's also how you feel on the inside because if you're being impatient with your skin process, you're not going to really actually see the process being made. And I know it's hard because I was somebody who really was really insecure about my skin. Like, I wouldn't even look you in your eye. Like, I wouldn't go to the store without makeup on. Like, I grew up in a household where you wear makeup. Like, you cover up your flaws. Like, you know, and not to blame. Like, that's just how I was raised. And, you know, a lot of people weren't raised like that. They were raised to, like, embrace their beauty and everything. And me, on the other hand, it was just like, you know, you enhance your beauty. And... Um, so I didn't like how I particularly look and especially because I didn't have perfect skin. I was just, you know, kind of told to always cover it up and that didn't help, um, anything. It just covered it up the, the, you know, but when I got in a relationship and I want to wake up to my man, I want him to see me for me. I want him to love on the skin that I'm in. And like, I want to love on the skin that I'm in. And it, it took me meeting a person, a certain person that I'm very grateful to experience. I would say that I'm great, grateful to experience somebody who made me realize like, I want FaceTime with him because I didn't have any makeup on. I'm like, nah, I don't want to be on FaceTime. I ain't got no makeup on. And he's like, just show me your face. And he was like, you know what? Like, it's not bad. Like, Everybody has flaws. Like, everybody has flaws. It doesn't matter if you have clear skin or not. Everybody has some type of flaw on their face, whether it's dark marks, whether it's acne, whether it's, like, heavy sagging of the eyes or deep eye sockets or bags under their eyes. Like, nobody just have this perfect skin as much as society and social media tries to tell you. Um, if they have perfect skin, you never know what else they're dealing with. They can have bad breath. Who, who knows? Like, everybody has flaws. And I would just like to say to the person that, your acne may seem horrible to you, but I'm telling you now, there's somebody who wish they had your skin. Wish they had your skin. There's people out there who don't even have half of a face. Their face is half melted off. They'll rather deal with your acne than not have a face at all. And it's so important to believe in that. Like, I get so, like, emotional just, like, thinking about that because I had to fix myself inside first. And I'm telling you, like, when your skin is broken out, like, I feel you. Like, I feel you. you. You feel hurt. Like, you feel like it's painful. Like, you feel embarrassed. You feel insecure. You feel like people not looking at you. They're looking at your acne. And, like, I really genuinely feel like people weren't looking at me. They were looking at the scars on my face. And it was just like, you know, they're judging me, thinking I don't drink enough water. They probably think I don't wash my face. Like, it's, trust me, like, I know. And I'm here to help you. And I really, really do hope that my root, facial routine can help you because I've had acne for years and I recently just got it cleared up. I don't have a bump on my face. Don't touch your face, ladies, but or males. But the fact that my skin is so smooth and I only have scarring left, that's going to eventually fade. And I just thank God. Like, I really do thank God for this opportunity because I really want to help somebody that is going through what I went through and, you know had the pains and I'm just grateful for the skin that I have and I'm just I'm telling you right now I don't I'm, I'm getting kind of like caught up on words because I was so emotional when everybody kept commenting on my skin because I've never heard that before and I'm trying not to get emotional because I just thank y'all so much like y'all don't understand like what that does and I really appreciate it and if you know anybody that's suffering from acne like recommend my video to them send it to them like these products have helped me out so much and I'm that other soap don't forget that other soap I inserted a video of it but this Dr. Broner's like I'm telling you like it's amazing the CeraVe product line it's amazing uh, also if you can get a vitamin vitamin C serum amazing put that on make sure you wear your SPF like y'all like when I'm telling y'all like it's a blessing that my skin looks like this and it's a blessing because I swear to God, like I literally just felt like this is as good as it's going to get. I'm not going to defeat this acne. And the fact that it has came to this point where I'm able to find a cheap method compared to all the other methods that's out there, a very cheap method, um, something that's natural, something that's, um, doesn't have a lot of chemicals in it. Um, a dermatologist approved, doesn't clog my pores. Like y'all, when I tell y'all, like, I feel so good. And I tell myself every day, girl, you look good. Oh girl, you so sexy. Oh girl, you so fine. And you tell yourself in that mirror that you are fine as wine and you look good. And the devil is a lie because he's not going to sit here and have your self-esteem over no acne. I'm telling you that now, because trust me, anytime you start to feel down about your acne, you better tell yourself in the mirror, somebody else got it worse than me. 
okay? Because nobody got perfect skin out there. There's some beautiful women out there that has, you know, scars. And, you know, you can get in a car accident and, and get a scar across your face. You're going, what acne? Who cares about acne? I have this, you know, and even if you have a scar, like, who cares? Embrace it and love who you are and just make sure that you appreciate the beauty that's inside of you. And, like, I'm just telling y'all right now, this is from the heart. Like, this is somebody who never thought they would clear up their acne. Like, I don't even have pictures of my face when it used to look as bad. But these are the photos that I do have when I wanted to start my journey. But I'm telling y'all now, y'all can do it. I really hope, just comment down below and let me know if y'all have any other recommendations. If you ever use any of these products before, I would recommend using them together. That Dead Sea Salt Mud Mask and this together. And make sure you wipe off your makeup. Don't sleep in your makeup every night. Like, make sure you wipe your makeup off. Don't don't do that to yourself don't don't do that to yourself so that's all i have to say if y'all have any more questions if i missed out on something um comment down below and let me know i am here to help y'all y'all can follow me on instagram as well send me a message send me any testimonies you had send me your experiences you had any advice that you need let me know and thank you guys so much for watching my video i really 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 appreciate it thank you guys for watching so much i appreciate you and if you really like this video like comment and subscribe to my channel for more content because your girl will be posting um her trip to the dermatologist or not the dermatologist to my facial and how that microdermabrasion looks so that will be the next video after this so stay tuned and put on your notification bell so y'all can know when i upload all right thank you so much and have a good day bye